Hello Semper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator in the United States and today it's a tip video, a simple way to color the beautiful cardinal from Toile Christmas. Um, that cardinal, it's beyond beautiful. I live uh, in Texas and we got my backyard, I say it's Evan. Because they say when you see a uh, cardinal, it's a visit from Evan. Well, I think Evan, it's in my backyard. We get so, so many of them. So let me get started. This is on watercolor paper. You can do it on any paper. Uh, but for this technique, uh, I'm using wa the aqua painter with water. So I suggest that for this technique would be better on watercolor paper. Put it that way. So this is the stamp set. Now I'm going to put that under my stamp apparatus so then it's stay flat there. I start with cherry cobbler and my greeting it's a uh, cherry cobbler also so I put both of the stamp over here. If you missed last week's video or this week, I'm not sure, I'm going to have the link at the end. I got a tip video also out to um, align the branch and the cardinal super easy I, it, I don't know if it's super easy but a good tip now I'm gonna stamp this in cherry cobbler yes cherry cobbler voila and if it's light a little bit you can come back I did many of them I don't know if you see my back table there I'm doing this for a swap and um I think it's time maybe to ring my uh, stamp set Voila. Now, what you're going to do is take the aqua painter. This is just a little brush here with water in it. Boom. And I'm going to start. Make sure I get some water here. And I'm just going to color. So you don't have to add more ink. If you want it a deeper red, well, then you can add ink. The easiest way for that is take your ink pad oops take your ink pad and a clear block and this make your palette here see you can grab ink uh, or you can squeeze your ink pad <clears throat> like this here squeeze this one been abused and abused this is the old style so they are easier to squeeze and then you get ink there with the new ink pad there are harder to squeeze so I like to use my palm of my hand and then squeeze it and then when you open it up voila some people don't like to have a messy um, oh, whatever it's called the case the cover so then the best solution is to take one of your um, clear block and do your own little palette or you can use a clear envelope or um, wax paper and put a drop or two of um, the ink on it that's very um, easy to do so what I done this very simple see I didn't blend nothing I just used the ink that was that I stained my carnal wet and colored the whole thing and again if you want like here I want a little bit darker so I just came and add more of the red and then the top of his head too I wanted more deep red and this color here it's cherry cobbler so now that would be good now you have to let that dry before doing the next step now the next step what I done let me bring one that it's dry um, let me wash my um, stamp here so I'm gonna wash this and, and like I said I'm doing a bunch of them so I'm doing all the red first and then I'm gonna come and do the black and I you could use stays on because stays on it's um, more friendly with watercolor but the watercolor it's done so I am using a uh, memento why I'm not using stays on uh, I don't know I had memento so that's what I'm using now I'm gonna put my black all over keep that in the corner and or you can use um, the magnet but the corner it's easy because you know it 
it's boom done see how pretty it is now I'm going to use my uh, stamping blend the dark daffodil and I will color his beak here and um, what else did I color that's it on that and I'm going to come back with I want vary the face more so I'm just doing the face there and do it again because I want a deep black around his uh, beak there Et voila how simple is that now for the branch I use early espresso and we're gonna stamp this again and uh, if you missed the video of last week just wait at the end I'm gonna have the direct link so you can see how I match that easy here Et voila see the legs are right on the branch and now I use the also the blends to uh, color this here and um, the leaves are in uh, old olive uh, no light mossy meadow sorry poppy parade that I use for the berries first I use cherry cobbler and I was missing a bit of the details so I went with a different red for the cherries so then uh, the detail stamp are still there the little dot and so on so I did all my uh, berries with poppy parade the dark one and then for the branch I use my soft suede the light one but you know what I'm gonna switch the light to the dark one I think the dark one is gonna suit better for the branch so I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know what no I still gonna use the light one so let's go back to the first choice you're gonna say well you already mix it that's okay I just gonna use this here this gonna light that up a little bit and then that give more a define so that's what I done for my branch the light a soft suede and voila you get this here very simple if you see I get a little bit of shiny shiny here in the eye that I use my uh oh look at my hand and I get some there I'm gonna be careful here I use my um, wink of Stella to put a little bit of shiny in his eyes and it is it is cuz it's a male cardinal cuz that's those bright color the female are much lighter and more in the brown so that's how I got this card then I use the foil um, the trim foil uh, card I'm gonna have all the link and in inside me the season be feel the greeting for this that's a different stamp set that I cannot even see where it is on my table but I will have all the list of the supplies on my blog below you get the direct link or above in the eye so that is it my friend for a quick way to color the cardinal till next time happy stay stamping my friend and have a lovely day bye bye for now